Hey guys, so today I figured I would do a little bit of a different video again um, and give you guys an adoption update. Um, now I'm doing things a little bit different today. Um, I don't, you know, I just don't want to just like stand here and talk to you guys um, about stuff. So I'm just like prepping things for dinner. This isn't a cooking channel, so I'm not going to run through like a recipe or anything like that. But I kind of wanted just to kind of keep busy while I am talking, so I'm just not, you know, just standing in front of a camera or anything. And this video is actually going to be going up on a new channel that I figured I would go ahead and create for this kind of thing, um, talking about, you know, the adoption process and everything. I have, like, my regular channel that I've had for years now that, you know, I review books and everything on there, but I just figured it's kind of weird posting this kind of content, you know, about adoption and family and everything on that kind of channel because they're com two completely different, like, audiences and stuff, so... I figured I would just go ahead and um, just create a new channel and talk to you guys about that here. Uh, and then the couple of videos that I currently have on my other channel, I'm just probably going to move over to this one um, just because things will make a little bit more sense. So I'll eventually go back um, and make another video with our like adoption journey and everything from the very beginning and kind of explain to you guys um, how everything came about, how everything happened. I know that I've, you know, again, talked about it a little bit on my other channel and again the videos are going to be on this channel I guess with with some of those updates but we've never actually really like sat down and talked about um, the entire process like from the very beginning what made us want to adopt um, and everything like that so I'll do eventually a video um, just kind of explaining everything uh, from the very beginning but today you know I wanted to give you guys an update just because I have been updating people online on the adoption journey um, people you know some people at least are close close friends and family and everything um, kind of know about this news already, but I wanted to, you know, make a video for everybody else. I know that our people, you know, want to kind of hear things coming from us, I guess, and from me uh, as far as everything goes instead of just seeing kind of an online post really quick. Um, but my wife and I have been matched recently um, with a little boy, which we're super, super excited about. Um, you know, probably the title of this video is going to be somewhere along the lines of that. So if you clicked on it, you probably know that we have gotten matched, which we're super, super excited about. Um, and again, you know, we'll, we'll talk about kind of how everything started with our adoption journey. Um, later on, I'll post something like that. But, you know, I just wanted to, to kind of share that news with everybody just because we're super, super excited. Um, my mental health from the last video that I posted um, is definitely a lot better. Um, thankfully, I, you know, I went through a very rough patch and a very kind of dark point um, a couple of months ago while we were still kind of inquiring and everything and going through that whole process. It was very mentally draining uh, for me, especially just very mentally exhausting. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm definitely in a much, much better place. Um, when it comes to my mental health, which I'm super excited about and just very happy just because things are kind of like Finally, we're seeing things happen and things kind of play out in a good way Which is nice uh, because again, we have been you know on this journey for so long It's been a year and a half almost it'll be two years in March So yeah, about a year and a half a little over a year and a half that we started this whole adoption journey. So it's been rough um, <laughs> But it's been great. I mean, it's definitely come up with its ups and downs Again, um, you know, we were we were matched with a little boy, seven-year-old little boy, obviously for, you know, safety reasons and everything. I'm not going to say where he's from or his name or anything, at least for a while until, you know, adoption or everything is finalized within the next year or two, however long that takes, because he's not legally freed for adoption yet. Um, his, his parents' parental rights still haven't been terminated, so we can't really go in there and officially adopt him until that's taken place. Um, but now that he has a placement, hopefully that happens fairly soon. Um, and again, I don't know, you know, how many details I can get into with all of this. Um, but I will share as much as I can eventually. I don't know if, you know, my wife will join me at some point on this channel. I mean, she's a little camera shy, um, when it comes to all of these things and, you know, talking in front of people. So you might just be getting a lot of this information from me, um, and relaying this info to you guys. But either way, you know, we're very excited to start, you know, this journey with this little boy. We're very excited. We're very happy, um, you know, with, with how things are happening and how things are going on. Um, we're definitely getting ourselves into, um, 
a, a, a lot. You know, it's a handful. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know if I've really mentioned this to people when we when I share with people that we have gotten matched, but the child that we got matched with um, does have autism. So we will be learning not only how to be parents, but how to parent a child with special needs, um, which we're which we're absolutely willing to do. I mean, this little boy just stole our hearts. We met him, or at least we were able to talk to him through Zoom um, about a month ago or so. And we just, we fell in love with this kid. And he's just, he's so happy. He's so energetic. He's funny. He likes to tell jokes. He loves, you know, to talk to you about things that he likes to talk about. I mean, you know, obviously with kids with autism, you have, um, or they have kind of certain things that they're really like passionate about. Um, so he has his little things that he's passionate about and likes kind of talking about those things. And we're just like excited to kind of just like listen to him. Um, for however long it takes him to tell us a story, uh, but we're just like super excited and just completely in love with this little boy that we have literally only met once, but we're very excited to um, meet him again and hopefully be able to plan a trip to go see him um, very, very soon. There are a couple of hiccups and things that are going on right now as far as the visit goes. Hopefully these are things that we can kind of um, figure out fairly soon um, so that we can actually go and see him and, and you know in person so he can kind of come you know and see us eventually because they do you know want to do kind of a slower transition with him um, with his condition and everything obviously you know kids with autism they're used to kind of certain things you have to introduce them to new things um, very slowly so this is one thing that they want to kind of introduce to him um, a little bit slower just kind of you know so he gets used to the idea used to seeing us around and in his life eventually before they tell him hey you're going with them and, and not coming back essentially to your to your foster home um but yeah i mean we're you know we're taking it one step at a time again we know that this is going to be a slower process with him um as far as transitioning but we're just so excited at this point that it's just <laughs> it's kind of hard to really like contain our excitement and like wanting him to be here now instead of later um we were told that he could potentially um be able to visit us during like school breaks and holidays and stuff so we're really excited to kind of hopefully have him for christmas i mean that would be awesome if we could have him for christmas or maybe even thanksgiving or something like that um and just bring him here and have him stay with us for for a weekend or something um so that he can kind of get to know us and we can, you know, kind of start setting up somewhat of a routine with him so he can meet the dogs and kind of see his room. And, you know, we're just like, we're, we're super excited to get to that point. And we just kind of want it all to happen now um, and today. But I know that we, you know, things can happen that quickly. So we're trying to be as patient as possible with this whole thing again, because it's just like, you know, we want things to move along fairly quickly and things have been moving along fairly quickly as far as as the transition and everything goes and getting him here um you know both states have already kind of approved his transfer into the new foster home and everything which is great because that stuff is supposed to take uh months and months and months and i think it took um probably about a week and a half less than two weeks to get um the, his transfer approved which is nice so now they're you know Hopefully trying to get him here permanently before the end of the year. But we'll see what happens. Again, you know, we have some new delays and some things that are were unexpected um, that happened. So we are hoping that it doesn't end up delaying the process more. That we'll still hopefully end up getting him by the end of the year. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Again, we have to, you know, continue to kind of stay in prayer and everything. My wife and I are, you know, big people of faith. You know, we have a huge... Um, church family and support system and everything um, there you know people that are praying for us and you know we're we're just you know praying and asking God and relying on our faith throughout this entire process because again it has been very draining um, to to go through this entire process it's just like it's crazy um, I feel like a lot of people um, may not want to go through this kind of process uh some people are just like you know all up for it like we are but other people you know i know that there are other people probably who just you know would get tired of the things you know going through the things that a lot of us have been going through with adoption you know adopting from the foster care system and everything and you know having to deal with caseworkers and with you know emailing people back and forth and then waiting for responses and you know, having people not respond to your emails, you know, in, in when you want them to respond to. And I understand 
you know, these caseworkers have a lot of kids that they're taking care of and a lot of kids that they're watching and a lot of cases that they're managing. And I know that we're not the only people that they're helping. So we, you know, we just need to learn to be patient with all of this, um, definitely. But it's hard, you know, because we want our kid. We want our kid to be here. We want him, to, you know, to, to just like establish that routine with us already. We want to be able to to, you know, parent him and get to know him and being able to, you know, introduce him to, you know, family and his grandparents and his, you know, aunts and uncles and cousins and all of that stuff. We're just like really, really excited. But again, um, we need to be patient. <laughs> so that's the one thing that we've kind of definitely learned throughout this entire process is, is to be patient. Um, it's just, it's, it's not easy again to, to go through the adoption process, but we're excited. We know that it's going to be you know, difficult. Definitely, there's going to be some hard moments, but we're hoping that all of the good moments greatly outweigh those difficult moments with him. Um, and we're just super excited, again, to get into all of this. And I just wanted to, you know, quickly come on here and, and, and share that update with you guys, just because I know that a lot of people, you know, have been wanting to hear that update. They've been wanting to know, you know, when we got matched and, you know, and what's been going on with the, with the adoption again, because the last video I posted was just kind of depressing <laughs> you know but I mean it's 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 real and I wanted to share that that side of everything with you guys again you know share the exciting moments the exciting announcements like I am today and telling you guys about him and and about you know how we found him and how we got matched and everything and again you know I'll probably end up you know doing another video with more details and everything of, of how everything started but for now I just wanted to go ahead and share that news with you guys um again this is kind of like a rough format i don't know if this is what i'm going to be doing um throughout these videos just kind of like you know just cooking or making coffee or whatever it may be um again i don't think this is going to be a cooking channel uh, so i'm not running through recipes here um at least i don't think so unless you guys really want me to but anyways um yeah i mean that's it for today i mean again we're really excited once we have more updates and we go see him and everything i definitely want to share that with you guys again um and yeah, I mean, if you guys want to continue to hear about our journey and hear about our parenting journey and, and, and you know, starting this family with this child with special needs and kind of our journey through that as well, you know, go ahead and subscribe. We're definitely, at least I'm definitely going to be, you know, posting a little bit more on this new channel about all of this because I, I know that there are people out there that want to hear our story. You know, parenting for everybody is very, very different. And the adoption process looks very different for a lot of different people. So I figured, you know, maybe our story will inspire someone out there to want to go ahead and adopt or to, you know, it'll end up being helpful or maybe some people are in the same, you know, similar situation as we are and went through the same things that we, you know, went through and are going through the same things that we're going to go through with a child with special needs and everything. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, we're doing this mostly to kind of connect with other people and really share our story and hopefully connect with people and inspire people and, and whatever it may be, you know, will happen. We'll see what happens with this channel and with these stories and everything. So, um, yeah, like and subscribe, do your thing, and I will see you all next time.